And we're back, everyone, to my Guild Wars Let's Play video series. Last episode for the set. And we got new armor. Armor which clips with my helm, of course. But still, new el armor. I don't really agree with this concept of the shoulders, but oh well. Really won't be showing it anyway. So now then, there we got our new armor and such. It's time to go get the crest. And I start have taken Thunderhead Keep, Jarrah Sword, my scouts, Karg, and Onar ahead to learn what they can and to find the one the ancient Tet called the Seal. It is said that he can fashion himself armor capable of protecting one against Mursat magic. Most like a tail total for flag and fail, but in these times, who knows? I expect a report by now. Something must have held them up. I'd feel better if ye went after them. I'll see what I can do. Now that we got the primary crest, there's also enough of crest over here. Which we shall go to. Go on, Gap Hill. Come closer, Inquisitor Fado. Oh, look me in the eyes. As I thought, you've got the look of someone who's been to Agri Rock and come out the other side. A true hero in the making. Well, listen to me, hero. Do not be deceived. The desert still holds many secrets for you to unlock. Take my advice and seek out the places called Secrets Passage and Destiny's Gorge and Hero's Audience. There you may find challenges worthy of a true champion. So now then, we go to those places. And basically, don't really need to actually get any of the crests here. Because they're a secondary profession crest. And I actually don't really want to do such on this chart at the moment, so we will be skipping them. We went to one, so on to the next. And now that we went to Destiny's Gorge, one more place to go, here's our audience. There we go. So now then we go back to Drugno's Forge, tell her I visited all those places. Yay for walking. We add hero, and since I still have a spot left, add Henshi back. But yeah, you traveled all that way and didn't bother talking to a single one of the ghosts there, did you? No, 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 don't bother denying it. I'd know if you had. I have an eye for these things. Well, at any rate, now you know where they are. Next time, try talking to the ghosts. You may find they have interesting things to say. I don't want any secondary profession. Well, fine. We have to go do one of those crests. Have to. Because oh, she apparently won't let me get the next crest unless I do such. Yay for being forced to do things I don't want to do. Well, let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Necromancer's Path. Ah, uh, lucky I know how to get to this one easy enough. I think. And yeah, that should do. Continuing.
I'll just have to run over there. Skipping ahead, and we're back. The second grip is better than tail. So we just have to take it all. Now that it's complete, we head back. And we unlock the necromancer's path. Which hopefully should allow that bitch to let me get the net's crest without her telling me to go talk to more spirits. I heard the death cry of the sacred griffin. I felt a chill. You have done well, Christopher Fader. Oh, your grip spoke truly when he told me you had the, within your heart the potential to be a necromancer. Yeah, I don't want to become a necromancer yet, though. Or at all. So, let's move back to Druckner's Forge and see if she'll give me the net's crest. Probably not, though. Oh, yay, then that's Chris. Your aura is radiant. Aided by the spirit of the desert, you can learn any profession, master any skill, but there yet remain untapped reserves of power within you. Take my advice, Christian Fado. Go to the frozen forest from Larry Mines of Olandu and seek out my sister, Sen Yi. She will help you unleash this hidden power. I will find your sister. And we're not going to be doing that quest. I just want to unlock it. What we should be doing is the seeking the seal. But it requires us to find a few scouts. Shouldn't be too hard. And will lead us to the next mission area. Which is always a nice. Basically we head up this way. And over there's the first scout. Oh crap, we're all in both groups. And curse these spikes and help us break our blinding. Seriously, And when I go talk to your car, go for hell. Oh, Burn Spirit sent ya. Do code out in the words for that lazy man. He used to be a ranger like the rest of us. Josh gives him a tie during things, it's his right to sit by the fire and draw a pint. Have I found anything? Well, I don't know, have you? Nope. King Josh sent me to find the seal. The old stories say that he can fashion magical armor to protect us from those mercy. I hope they are true, even the stone summoned have been driven from the mines we sent for honor to scout out the ice caves of sorrow. Knowing him, he's been caught by now. Oh wait, Ronak. Ronak. Oh yeah, that's the guy who from the... Forest Pass and Frostgate thing. Yeah, he probably has been caught by now. I didn't realize that till now, but, but yeah. Continuing. I'll probably skip ahead since there's probably a lot to fight here. Or maybe I'll just run ahead. I mean, he's right there. Yay, I'm being attacked. I'm sorry, Rogue, I cannot get you. I'm too busy being attacked and running through. So let's start to own our hill. Hello there, we have had enough activity as of late before these stones have been driven from the mines. Barnett set out before us. He should be in the ice caves by now. What can I do for you? Frog mentioned a series. I've heard the stories and I don't believe them all. 
Griffby Tower, more importantly, the Shining Blade's leader, Evenia, has been captured by the White Mantle. We're working with them to free him. Who ever would have thought that Dowdermundor would, would ally with the Creighton Rebels? Strange days indeed. Blade Scout Shepherds, I'm ahead, you have a report for you. Yay, continuing. Yay, blinding snow. Yay, random collector that has nothing useful for me. So now we're in the ice caves of sorrow. In all their glory. So we go over this way. And tilt head. Hey, seen that go around quite a few places, apparently. But anyway, talk to this one. Welcome, hero. And uh, sent by the king himself, no less. Here is compensation for your journey. We are few or too few to move. march against the unseen masters of the White Mantle. The dwarves insist on finding some ancient spellcaster they claim is a seal. I appreciate their help, but feel this is a fool's errand. Feeny would help us more than some old man and his dusty spells. Ice caves of sorrow indeed. Yeah, so for the fact that freaking protection against the resort it would be more valuable than running in their and getting slaughtered by their spectral agony. Which we ain't gonna try to demonstrate in the next video. Hopefully not, anyway. Let's sell some stuff. Yay, sell some stuff. And now then, we'll be leaving off here for now. Hope y'all enjoying. Thank y'all, and have a nice day.